In this video, we'll be walking through some common questions around the Commerce Services configuration. First, we'll look at what to do if you get a message that says your public or private API key is invalid. To correctly configure the Commerce Services connector, you'll need to create a different set of public and private keys for both the sandbox and production environments. This is a one-time configuration that powers many Adobe Commerce and Magento open source features. So if you're getting the invalid message, you'll need to re-verify both sets of keys. Let's do that together now. First, you'll need to generate the Sandbox API keys. To find your public and private API keys, you'll need to navigate to your Magento account and click on the API portal. In the Environment drop-down menu, select Sandbox to generate both keys and add your new key name. Once the private key is generated, we recommend downloading it and keeping it in a secure place because this key is only available when you create it. The public key is always accessible in your Magento API portal. From here, copy the public key and paste it into the Commerce dashboard in the Sandbox Public API Key field. Then copy your private API key from the downloaded file and paste it into the Sandbox Private API Key field. Once that's all done and your keys are in the right spots, navigate to the next step. From here, you'll repeat the same process to generate the production keys. Start by selecting Production in the Environment drop-down menu this time. Then copy and paste the public and private keys just as you did for the Sandbox. Be sure to click Save once you're finished. If all four of the API keys were copied and input correctly, you should now see green check marks that let you know that you're all set. The next common question we'll explore is how to rotate your store's API keys. To do this, you'll first need to contact the license owner of the store because they're the only ones who can generate valid keys to use with SaaS products. If you change from the license owner's keys to a non-license holder's keys, it can cause failures in previously configured products like live search, product recommendations, and payments. The license owner of the store will need to regenerate the keys in the API portal. They can follow the same process as when they created them in the first place, but they'll need to delete the old keys for the environments before creating new ones. At this point, you'll see an error for products like payment services within your commerce dashboard because the old credentials are no longer valid. Go to System, then Commerce Services Connector to input the new API keys that the license owner of the store had generated. Copy and input each key into its respective fields and hit Save. Now when you head back to Payment Services, you'll see the functionality has been restored. Up next is a question about the SAS identifier step of setting up your Commerce Services Connector, specifically if you find that you have a different amount of data space than expected. On Adobe Commerce, each instance will have one production data space and two testing data spaces. Magento Open Source will have one production data space and no testing data spaces. These SAS data spaces are used to collect and store data that enables Commerce Services to work. Some of this data may be exported from the Commerce instance, and some may be collected from shopper behavior on the storefront. You can point a Commerce instance to a SAS data space by selecting it in the Commerce configuration. Next, we're going to cover why your Sandbox button might be grayed out and unclickable when you try to onboard payment services. This might be happening because you're already using another SAS service, and there is data associated with the data spaces. If you're running into this problem, you'll need to contact Adobe Support for further help. The last question we'll cover is why your Commerce Services Connector isn't loading in the UI. When you can't see payment services in the menu or if your page is showing up blank, the most likely cause is that your account, and more specifically your role, has the Commerce Services Connector disabled in the backend modules. To fix this, go to System, then to User Roles. Here, you'll locate your role and go to Role Resources. Scroll down to the Commerce Services Connector folder and check the box. Be sure to hit Save Role when you're finished, and this should unlock access to the Commerce Services Connector.